Hello, Andy at Football Creator here. Have I got a tutorial for you guys today? I'm just going to show you how to make a simple football design with lots of smoke in the background and some lights and Gareth Bauer in the background, really. Right, let's get to it. First thing I want to do is cut out our player. Um, I've already done that because it's a bit laborious and you don't want to watch me cutting out a football player. Right, once you've got your football player cut out, the first thing we want to do is work on the player first and then we'll work on the background. So the first thing I like to do is to duplicate the layer as so. This top layer here, change the blending mode to hard light and it makes all our shadows darker and our highlights lighter. Um, although it does affect the colors so we have to with that layer selected come up to image adjustments and then we're going to just quickly grab the hue and saturation and drag the saturation down until we've got rid of that horrible orangey color like so and then click OK. Now that effect creates quite a bit of dramatic scene there but we want to drop the fill down just a little bit because I think it's a bit too strong. Turn that layer on and off you can see the difference. Right after that we want to grab our original layer, duplicate it again, drag that layer above to the top. With that layer selected you want to go up to image, adjustments and desaturate. Now you want to change this blend mode to soft light. There we go. With that layer selected you want to right click on it and click convert to smart object. And then with that layer selected you want to go up to filter, other, high pass. Right basically with this the lower the value you go the smaller the details it's affecting and the higher you go the bigger the shadow of the details it's affecting. So we're going to just going to work on the smaller details to start with. So you just play around with your slider until you find something that you think looks quite good. And I'm going to go with about there and click OK. Now the first thing you want to do is duplicate that layer again and we will just turn that one off because we're going to use that one for later. Now go back to the original layer there, create a group and drop that layer into the group. So we've got them all nice and neat. Right, basically we want to make that effect stronger on the player. So in that group click on that layer again and duplicate it and duplicate it. So I think three times is enough. So then we can close that group up. With that group selected, we're going to hit the mask icon. And we're going to double click on the mask and click invert. So we've got rid of all the sharpness we've just put on that image. Now we're going to grab our brush tool, set it to white, and I like to use about 50% opacity. Make sure the hardness is soft and the pixels well, just the right size so you can brush over all the small details. Then simply we're just going to brush over all the things we want to stand out. So his beard, there, across there, his hair, there we go. And then you want to get all the creases on the shirt, like so. takes a little bit of time masking this out over that, I'll exaggerate that a bit more, end of the neck there, on the ear, make sure you get all the creases because that, that's what makes the uh, football shirt look pretty nice in my opinion, a little bit on his arms but it doesn't matter because we're going to be fading this section and this section out with smoke later. Right, if I turn that group on and off, you can see the difference there. The next thing we want to do is go to the layer we created earlier, above here, turn this one back on, 
Double click the high pass bit under the smart filters and drag the radius up to a high amount so we're affecting big shadows now. Major contrast. Click OK. And then I want to turn the fill down a little bit because I think that effect's just a little bit too strong. And I think I quite like that. So what we're going to do now, we're going to close that group and we are going to create a new layer oh not two just one and then we're going to go down and turn the background layer off solid color one come up to the layer we just created go up to image apply image the layer should be set to merged blending mode make sure it's set to normal and click ok and basically we've just created a screenshot of everything we've just done now with this layer selected, we can go back down and turn our background back on so we can see the image a bit better. But with this layer selected, we want to go up to Filter. And if you haven't got Topaz Slabs, I suggest going and buying it. And click Topaz Clean. And wait for Topaz Clean to load up. And you'll get this window. Basically, I've created my own settings here for player clean, which strength is at 4, threshold is at 0 0.37, I think it says, 5, edges at 1, radius at 50, sharpness at 76, texture at 1.29, I think that is, boost at 1.14, and 0.26. I don't think the texture I've actually changed. And click OK. Now this layer selected, what you want to do, we've got a bit of haloing around the hair, which we don't want, so we want to create a layer mask. Grab our brush tool, set it to black, make sure you have a soft edge and 50% opacity and you just want to brush away the halo -y effect that is given on the hair, like so. Right, for the actual player, I'd say we're near enough done apart from lighting. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to get rid of the solid color layer. So I've got all this selected. I'm just going to right click and click merge visible. So we've got our player on one layer now, like so. As you can see, we've actually got a little bit of the halo and come back there. So if we create another layer mask, and then just brush away lightly a little bits we don't like and then we'll apply that layer mask so we've got our player here now when I start working I like to create an exposure layer to sit on top and I just bump the offset up a little bit to around about 0.0114 I just do this with all my designs, I just find it it's nicer to work with. Now basically, I want to create some smoke now. And actually first we will get rid of these sharp edges. So if you just select the layer there, click a layer mask, grab your gradient tool, make sure it's set from foreground to transparent and click OK. And now you just want to, with the make sure it's black to transparent. And you just want to get rid of those harsh edges. A bit too much there. You can always go back if you do it a bit wrong like that. It just takes a bit of time playing around with it to get rid of it. Like so you can always bring some back by changing and going that way working on one side at a time grab a brush it's, it is really just playing around trying to get the effect you want and just getting rid of the harsh edges like so 
So now <clears throat> we're ready to put make our smoke layer. Now we need to create a new layer. Grab your brush tool and you can go on the website Brush Easy and just type in smoke brushes and you'll find loads on there. They're all really useful, all really the same thing really. So you click one of your brushes, one of your smoke brushes like so. Make sure you have your opacity turned up to 100%. Now you want to go on your brush presets, go to shape dynamics and turn up your size jitter and turn up your minimum diameter. And this is the cool bit, you turn your angle jitter up so it rotates everything. Then you want to go to scattering, click both axes, turn up the scattering and turn up the count a little bit until you've got it looking like smoke down there. I think that is about it. And then you want to go to transfer and turn up your opacity transfer because it'll make it look like smoke. Now basically what you want to do is just hold down and draw smoke everywhere quite heavily on him. There we go. Now you want to create a layer mask with that same brush set to black, turn the opacity down to 50% and you want to just brush away from Change the brush size as well so you get more more texture in there. Keep changing the brush size. Smaller, bigger, you just get better texture. Like so, and we want to make sure we keep a smoke around the player. Make sure it goes over his body a little bit and face a little bit because smoke doesn't just stop when it hits you. There we go. I think I'm happy with that. Now with smoke, I like to have the smoke layer selected, go up to filter, noise, add noise, uh, leave it as uniform monochromatic and the amount set to 9.64 and click OK. It just makes the smoke a bit more realistic I find. Right, above this layer we want to create an adjustment layer and we're going to create a gradient map. So basically you double click here then, scroll down and you've got all these different presets um, they're all preloaded on Photoshop, you just have to fit around in here and try to get different ones up. I'm going to use, you just flick through them then and see what ones look good to you. I think I'm going to go with that one and click OK. Once you've got the gradient map up, grab the fill and drag it down to about 30%-ish. That's normally where they look quite good and blend the image in together. Right, now we've got the gradient map on, the exposure layer, the smoke in the background. I just want to brighten up his eyes a little bit. Now to do this, I'm going to grab a soft brush, uh, turn the opacity back up. I'm just going to zoom in on his eyes going to create a new layer and basically the bits I want to be brightened up turn the size down there I am just going to draw over like this there we go I zoom out a bit now and we're going to right click and click select pixels and then we're going to delete that layer then we're going to click our little adjustment layer icon and click on levels. So now it's automatically created a layer mask with what we've just selected. Now I just want to bring the, make his eyes a bit brighter. So 
so we can see them a bit better. And there we go. I like that. I'll leave that. I'll just merge that down to keep everything nice and tidy. Right, now we have the smoke and the gradient map on. I actually think I'm going to change the color of the smoke. Um, to do this, if you click on that layer, the smoke layer, click the adjustment layer, hue and saturation, right click, create clipping mask, then hit colorize. And now we can choose by filling on the sliders, you can choose what color we want the smoke to be. Might even go back to white at the end, but I just want to give it a little bit of a little bit of color. I think the yellow looked the best. On off, yeah, I like that. I'm gonna merge that one down. Right, so we've got the smoke, we've got the football player. Now we want to add some lighting. First off, I find easiest to do is pick a light source. So I think I'm going to make my light source come from up here. So behind the player, I'm going to create a gradient. I'm going to set it to radial. And I've already got white selected in there. Then we're just going to drag this light source up to the top, up there, like so. Might even drag that above the player. Yeah, above the player, because it goes a little bit on the player. Now on the player, you want to make sure that la the player layer is selected and click FX and then click inner glow. So basically you can see the inner glow on the player here. We want to choose the color we want the light to be. So I'm going to choose a pure white. This bit doesn't really matter as long as you get enough white on the player to where you want it to be. So that's plenty for me. Make sure your blending mode sent to color dodge and opacity 100% and click OK. Right, right click where it says inner glow and click create layer. On the new layer that it just created, you need to hit the layer mask button, double click and invert the layer mask. And now basically we're going to zoom in and where we think the light would be hitting Gareth, yeah, we're going to grab a brush tool, make sure it's set to white, turn the opacity right down, use a soft brush and we're just going to lightly brush on the light to his face where we think it would be hitting him. So this is very, very subtle. Zoom out a bit so we can see, turn it on and off. So we can see where it's hitting him. Maybe a little bit on his nose if I create it big enough. Yeah. And then we'll just grab the little white bit in his eye and brighten that bit up. Just that little subtle effect makes look makes it look like the lights are coming down on him. And to enhance that ethos even more, what we're going to do is we're going to double click on the layer and use the blend if slider. Now you want to grab your keyboard, sorry about this, I'm working without a keyboard at the moment. You're going to grab your keyboard and you're going to hold click alt and drag this little slider out and it's going to take the white bits off the dark areas depending on where you put the slider. It just makes it look a bit more realistic. There we go. I like that. And you can fit around with a fill and opacity to get it just right how you like it. Right. Next, I think we'll merge that down. 
Now I want to make this side of the image a bit darker than this side obviously because the light source is on the right hand side. So to do this I'm going to come up above the gradient map, create a curve and I'm just going to drag the curve down to make it darker and we're going to invert. Then we're going to grab our gradient tool, make sure it's set from foreground to transparent, uh, make sure the white's selected and just drag that across. So that on and off, we've corrected our light source. Now from here, I like to, we're going to create the text behind Gareth. So we're going to come down, we'll do it in front of Gareth to start with, so you can see. So we'll grab our text tool. I like to use the font Road Rage. Click on there and type in whatever you want. I'm going with bail. Okay, so we are going to position this there. Okay, then grab with that layer selected, grab our character attributes, and I'm going to make him a bit bigger. And then I'm going to rotate. Ooh, we're not going to do that. We're going to rotate it a little bit. And then I'm going to make it ooh, click a tick and make it a little bit bigger. Okay, I like that. Can get rid of that panel now. Now we're just going to move the text behind him and drag that layer down behind him. So we've got. Gareth Bale. Just position it where you like. I quite like it there. And click OK. Now, to me, this image is looking a little bit black and white. And I want to add a little bit of color into it. So above the gradient map, I'm going to create another curves layer. Select the blues and just pump up the blue level a little bit. Turn the opacity down because it's a bit too much. And then above the curves layer, I'm going to put in a color balance and just push the cyan up in the midtones highlights and the shadows. Turn that one on off and you can see. Just makes it look a little bit better. Now to finish off an image to bring it all together I like to create a new layer just underneath my exposure layer. Grab the square marquee, marquee tool, select everything and then right click fill 50% grey OK deselect. Then we're going to change that blending mode to soft light. And then we're going to go to filter noise, add noise and same as last time 9.64 uniform and monochromatic and click OK. And that just brings all your colors together and makes your smoke look a bit more realistic as well. One thing I forgot, with metals on players like the uh, this bit here, a little tip I like to do, if you duplicate the layer, um, we'll apply that layer mask first off, and then go to filter, noise, reduce noise. Now if you bump all the settings up to the top like this and click OK, it looks really horrible for a minute. But if you create a layer mask 
invert that layer mask, grab a soft brush with a 50% opacity on white and just brush it back in over the metal. It just sharpens up the metal quite a bit. I come out, turn it on and off, you'll see what I mean. And that's it guys. Um, tag me in all your uh, efforts and your designs. I like to see them on my Instagram page. Um, if you want to learn anything else or have any other suggestions, just write it down in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video. All right, thank you. Cheers, guys. Bye. I want you to show me how to get to know someone like you. Someone like you I want you to know me Cause I know then you'll see We can be true We can be true